The Indians have now reached Barbados and their team hotel ahead of the World Cup final. Look at these visuals as the team arrived in the hotel about an hour and a half back. Tired legs, jaded players, but intense and committed and passionate. We had seen this happen with the Indians in Guyana as well. They had played a match and literally had to fly within hours. The logistical challenge is quite a bit. They arrived in Guyana at 1.30 am in the morning and we had brought you those visuals thanks to our correspondents Devashish Sen and Ishan Shahane. Things were no different last night in Guyana. Once the match ended, the Indians were told that the Barbados airstrip had been locked for a while because there was a small crash. As a result, the flight a little delayed. Finally, the Indians reached the team hotel at about 10 o'clock in the morning India time today, a couple of hours before. That is what it is all about. Travel from one destination to another, from one island to another, but inspired by the same vision and the same dream. This is a team that has been united. Yes, there have been tough calls and contentious ones like the Shivam Dube one, but overall it is a team in a mission. The captain has led from the front. He has been in stellar form. Rohit Sharma in World Cups is a story. Take the 2015 World Cup in Australia. Rohit's stellar 100 pushed India into the semi-final. Take the 2019 World Cup in England. Rohit Sharma was the best batter in the competition with 500s. Take the 2023 World Cup. Yet again, it was Rohit Sharma who changed the course of the way India played its sport by being aggressive at the very top and creating a new template. He may not have gotten as many hundreds or as many fifties, but the kind of impact the captain had at the top of the order was less than none. And in this World Cup, he has been magical. Taking Australia out single-handedly with the bat yesterday was also another magical Rohit Sharma effort of 56 against England. Despite losing Virat Kohli at the other end, the captain looked unfazed. And that's the beauty of this new incarnation of Rohit Sharma. <coughs> Overall, the Indians have played as a collective. Almost everybody has contributed. Take the bowling. Jaspreet Bumrah, obviously the talisman and the Pied Piper with the ball. But Kuldeep Yadav has been a star as well. How can you forget the contribution of Aksar Patel, who was magical, especially the wicket of Joss Butler? How do you even forget Arshadeep Singh, who has picked more wickets than anyone from the Indian standpoint? Aksar's catch against Australia of Mitch Marsh was a game-turning moment. Hardik Pandya has contributed with both bat and ball, and that's why is such a pivotal player in the Indian ranks. Rishabh Pant, despite blowing hot and cold, has made some telling contributions at number three. Surya Kumar Yadav has lit it up. 50s and 30s and 40s, tremendous impact right through the competition. So as the team reaches the hotel and you see these visuals exclusively on your screens, you know that this is a team on a mission. For Rahul Dravid, could it be the perfect swan song? When he bids farewell, if India wins the trophy, his reign could rank as one of the most successful if there is a World Cup to boost. Otherwise, we will say, oh no, Rahul Dravid's tenure wasn't the greatest. But a World Cup win and a World Cup runner-up trophy sounds so much better. For Captain Rohit Sharma, he has led India to the final of the World Test Championship. He has led India to the final of the 2023 50 over World Cup. And now he has led India to the final of the 2024 World T20. Can the cricket gods be as cruel as to deny him the trophy this time round? Once again, take a look at these visuals. For the final time, the Indians have travelled. They have now reached Barbados and their team hotel. They will now rest up 
because they've just got 24 hours to go. There will be no pre-match press conference because it was already done. There will be no practice as the Indians get ready, giving their bodies some much needed rest before they step out in Barbados against a resurgent South Africa. Weather permitting, it could well be the game of the tournament between two of the best sides, both of whom are unbeaten. And for captain Rohit Sharma, it is his tryst with destiny. Can he seek immortality by winning the World Trophy? Something that he has been after since appointed captain in December 2021. For Rohit, this is the ultimate prize. This is why he plays cricket. This is the glory that he has always sought. And he has put in the hard yards. His boys have. Every member of the team has. And for Virat, it could well be redemption in the final. Remember Dhoni in 2011, right through the tournament he was silent. But in the final, the great man stepped up. And Virat Kohli is exactly that, the greatest that we have seen. So it is an India which is ready. The South Africans are also ready. Watch these visuals and start praying. 29 June could well be another tryst with destiny.